A common problem for a surveyor is the calculation of the surface area of a specific field. The fields are often irregular which makes direct calculation of their areas difficult. In such cases, fields are divided into a number of regular areas like triangles, rectangles, and etc. of which the surfaces can be calculated with simple formulas. All areas are calculated separately and the sum of these areas gives the total area of the field. Before anyone starts to measure a field, you should start a look at the field to see what shape it has. Traditionally, fields seldom have the simple geometrical shapes. The sides are often curved and the shape can be quite complex. In most cases, however, the shape of a field can be approximated by a simple figure. Curved lines can be approximated by straight ones and the field can be split up into triangles and rectangles, which can all be measured and used to calculate the area of the field. The lone objectives of this fieldwork is to develop and acquire the skills of determining the area of a polygon in the field using tape by dividing the area into triangles. Instruments and accessories that we use Range poles Measuring tape Markers It's either chalk or marking pins And plumb bobs First is area determination by base and altitude Assign 5 points location in the field and mark these points with marking pins or chalk. Name these points as A, B, C, D, and E respectively. Divides the polygon into 3 triangles by taking into consideration that the division should be easily measured. Label these triangles as A1, A2, and A3. Measures the base of the first triangle chosen in the polygon using tape. In this case, we used to measure side AC that will serve as base of the first triangle. Then measure the length of the altitude of the first triangle. Note, the altitude of a triangle is perpendicular to the base. Record the length of the base and altitude on table 3.1, area determination by base and altitude. To get the area of the triangle, divide the product of the base and altitude to 2. Repeat steps 3 to 5 for the chosen second and third triangles of the polygon. To determine the whole area of the polygon, take the summation of areas A1, A2, and A3. Area of triangle is equal to 1 half times base times altitude. Area determination by two sides and an included angle. The same field described in area determination by base and altitude will be used for this method but change the designations on the corners and instead use point F, point G, point H, point I, and point J. Divide the polygon into three triangles, label them A1, A2, and A3. Measure any two sides of the first triangle chosen and record these measurements as sides A and B. Determine the included angle between sides A and B and record this on table 3.2. To get the area of the triangle, divide the product of side A, side B, and sign of the included angle to one half. And to determine the whole area of the polygon, Take the summation of areas A1, A2, and A3. Repeat steps 3 to 4 for the chosen second and third triangles of the polygon. Use the same formula that was mentioned earlier. Area determination by Heron's formula. The same field will be used for this method but change the designation of the corners to L, M, N, O, and P respectively. Step 2. Divide the polygon into three triangles. Step 3. Measure all the sides of the first triangle chosen and record all these measurements as sides A, B, and C. Step 4A. 
determine the semi-perimeter of the first triangle by multiplying the perimeter of the triangle by 1 half. Semi-perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C times 1 half. Step 4B. To determine the area of the triangle, substitute the values of the semi-perimeter and sides A, B, and C to Heron's formula, where the area of the triangle or the Heron's formula is equal to the square root of the products of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Step 5A. Repeat steps 3 and 4 for the chosen second and third triangles of the polygon. Step 5B. To determine the whole area of the polygon, take the summation of the areas of A1, A2, and A3, where the summation of areas is equal to the area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. 